So, you finally decided to do a men's physique competition. Here's a couple tips for your first men's physique competition. Overall guys, you gotta realize that you have to come in shape. And when I say come in shape, it means come in shredded. Come in six to eight percent body fat. Obviously do the best that you can, but there's gonna be other competitors out there and you have to realize that there are other competitors out there that are gonna be going as hard as they can to cut down as much body fat as they can to come in as shredded, come in as lean as possible. So realize that and come in as best shape as possible as you can. That being said, know that you put the work in. Come in confident with what you have, with what you put the work in and know that you don't have any regrets for every single cheat day that you had throughout that journey. Know that every single day mattered. Know that you put 100% every single day towards this competition and really understand that on the day of your competition, be confident, be happy with what you have and enjoy the experience. So, it's a day of your competition. You're finally ready to go. Number one thing you should not forget is to bring food. You have to bring food. What I recommend to bring are rice cakes, cookies, chocolate, um, whatever chocolate you enjoy yourself or what you feel makes you look vascular. For me, it was dark chocolate. I had dark chocolate, cookies, sip of Gatorade just before I went on stage. It was roughly 15 minutes before I went on stage. That being said, don't forget your food. I was lucky enough that I forgot my food when I went down to Calgary, but I got second place, lucky enough. But once again, guys, do not forget your food. Food is very important. Uh, make sure you're taking them at the right times. Uh, for me personally, I would take two rice cakes every couple hours. Um, bananas are very well. Potassium is very good for when you go on stage because with potassium, it's gonna allow your muscles not to cramp up since you're not drinking enough water because you're dehydrating yourself. Uh, so don't forget, bananas, rice cakes, cookies, chocolate, all that great stuff. Just do not forget your food. You know how they normally have a set schedule for a lot of events that happen outside of men's physique, for concerts and stuff like that? Coming early is always very important with work, with jobs, with really anything in general. So when it comes to a men's physique competition, coming early probably isn't a bad thing. I'd rather, me personally, come one hour early to work than two minutes late. That's just my mindset. I believe that's a great mindset to have for everything you do in life. But for men's physique in general, come in early, guys. I had a men's physique comp that happened about two to three weeks ago. I've had people that came in literally maybe 30 minutes before we had to go on stage. They had to rush to get tan, their second coat, their pump up, all that stuff. Be there on time, but be there early. I say an hour early to 30 minutes early, not before you go on stage, but before the competition even starts. That gives you enough time to prepare when you're going to eat your meals, uh, where you're going to sit to rest, posing, everything. Come early to the competitions, guys. It's not going to kill you. You're sitting there for an extra hour, and that extra hour could get you first place. So, come in early, guys. Tanning. That was my big mistake. I used a aftershave, or an aftershave, on my armpits after I shaved about three days out. Uh, Guess what happened after tanning? Very green, just before I go on stage. So what they did is touch-ups and all that stuff. But that's a mistake of my own, and that's what I'm gonna let you guys know right now. Do not use deodorants, do not use any type of body fluid or whatever. Just use shampoo a week out from your competition, and that will make your tan look that much better without any distortions whatsoever, that they don't have to do so many fix up and whatnot. They will fix you up, obviously, if you make a mistake. And that was my case. So, do not do that. Make sure you exfoliate before you actually get your tan. A lot of people don't know what exfoliate is. And exfoliating is pretty much scrubbing your skin with a type of special soap, I believe. Because I never actually used the soap itself. I just kind of used um, water itself. I used a damped cloth and I kind of just scrubbed every single part of my skin just to get all of those dead skin cells out. And that's pretty much the main point of exfoliating is to get the dead skins out. The, I can't even talk right now. Dead skins out so the tan goes on yourself completely better, looks nicer, looks smoother, looks crispier, and ultimately makes you look better on stage. A tan is very important. It's men's physique, not bodybuilding. They look at every single feature, your face, your tan, your shorts, 
everything. So getting a tan is very important. Um, what you're going to expect or what you're going to be pretty much doing when you get your tan is you're going to go in there, you know, they're going to expect that you're exfoliated, um, your skin's going to be dry, you know, nothing's going to be on it, no lotion, make sure, no lotion, that still counts, guys. Anything on your skin matters um, because that tan is going to pretty much take your entire body. So for some people, some people like getting tan naked, some people like getting tan with small shorts. Um, it just depends on what you're doing. Bodybuilding, obviously, you're probably going to have to get tan naked. What they do is just put a sock on it and you get tan. And the way it works is you get your first coat, then just before you go on stage, uh, you get your second coat. For my first show, actually, I got two coats in one day, uh, just the day before. So it just all depends on the show you're doing, on the tanning place you're getting your tan by. Um, and for touch-ups, so a lot of people don't know what touch-ups are. Touch-ups is pretty much any fixes. So when you go to bed and you have your tan on, expect that it's going to get all over the sheets if you don't put something over top. So put something over top, something you're not going to use. That's why I prefer wearing a sweater or pants so you don't mess up your tan so much because some people wear shorts, a tank top. It's very easy. You could hit your arm on, for instance, this desk that's right beside me, right? And that will ruin your tan. They'll have a white spot right there. They'll have to touch that up. And you really don't want that to happen. You don't want to ruin your tan just before you have a competition. So wear a sweater, wear pants. Flip-flops is ideal. People don't wear socks because then you can get that line with your sock. So flip-flops, sweater, pants, loose pants, loose sweater, so it's easy to take off, you know, stuff like that. Lay down, sleep on a bed that has sheets that you don't worry too much are going to get a little dirty because you're going to be rolling around in your sleep. Some people do that. So be prepared for that. And just before you go on stage, some shows do it differently. So some have different types of tying, you know, if you do your own personal tan, you can do whatever it is you like. But the way it works is they do the two coats just before you go on stage. They do the touch-ups. I recommend to do your touch-ups before you do your pump. Do not get pumped up. Do your touch-ups because it takes about five to ten minutes because you're just going to lose your pump. And you guys probably understand why I'm saying that. I mean, you do your pump up, you rest for five to ten minutes, kind of lose your pump, then you go on stage. Nobody wants to lose their pump before they go on stage. Everybody wants to look pumped up when they're on stage. So... Do your touch-ups first, get pumped up. That being said, that's pretty much all you need to know for tanning. Uh, afterwards, you can just shower and all of it will go away. You'll be left with like a golden tan that lasts maybe three, four days. Everything else will be gone and that'll be it for the tan. So you're finally on stage. Know the format. Know what's gonna happen. Know what's gonna go on. Know your posing. When I say know your posing, be individual, be yourself. Understand that you are expressing who you are and all this work you put into your own body. So come up with a posing routine that stands out to you. As you guys are seeing in some of my posing routines, it's a little bit different than most people's. And I feel like you have to stand out. You have to be yourself. Do something that stands out to the judges. Don't be plain like every single person that goes on that stage. Be someone that the judges are going to look to, the judges are going to remember, and the judges are really going to want to award you with something amazing if you really do stand out. And don't just stand out as in do something funny and all that. Do something that's memorable. Do a awesome pose or you know how Jeff Side started this new pose all of a sudden? He got first place. He put the work in. I'm not just saying it's the pose that got him that first place. Obviously it's the work, the physique, everything leading to that. But that pose makes the judges be like, wow, that's that's different. It stands out, it looks nice, right? Do something that stands out. For me, it was rounding up the audience, you know? Letting them know letting them know that I'm here and I'm here to stay. Letting them know that I'm here to get a good placing. I'm not here to just go on stage, show my body, and leave. I'm here to win. I'm here to really, like I said, stand out, guys. And that could mean rounding up the audience, doing a different pose, doing your own style of posing. Don't just follow people. Don't just, you know copy other people and what they're doing, you could take bits from each person and make your own individual posing routine or something that really stands out and memorable to the judges, all that stuff guys. But posing, know your criteria, meaning so know if you're going to be going to the left side of stage, know if you're going to go to the right side of stage. Confidence is key, knowing what you're doing, people know that 
the <laughs> the audience will know if you're confident or not. The judges will know if you're confident or not. Come in there smiling, have a lot of fun, and know what you're doing. Now the last thing you should be worrying about, but still very important, are the shorts that you get. Now I noticed blue shorts are probably the most popular shorts um, from many physiques out there. Jeff Sides, um, Ryan Terry, uh, Sergey something, He's you'll, you'll be seeing a picture right now. Um, many guys out there use blue shorts and there's a reason for that. They stand out, they look nice, they look appealing. For me personally, I use the blue shorts. My next show is going to be more so a turquoise type of shorts. I'll be showing you guys later on in another video. But blue shorts stand out. Um, I personally do like the shorts that have like a little cut on the sides. Um, that's just me personally. Everyone has their own personal preference. I recommend don't get shorts that have like big letters on it. I don't think they really look nice. Get a solid color or really like there's shorts out there that have like two lines on one side. Like the Jeff Side shorts actually that he used in Stockholm um, and went first place for instance. Do your research, check what source, what shorts, shorts, shorts look best on you, uh, go to stores, try shorts on, um, they can get very expensive. For me, my first shorts were very cheap, I was lucky enough to get them for cheap, maybe 12 bucks, but you probably won't find shorts for $12 for men's physique. Most of them range, this is Canadian dollars, so most of them range from about $50, $50 minimum to 60 well, actually, you could go higher than 60 but they start off at $50 for board shorts and men's physique. And yeah, board shorts. Don't forget. Put that in your head, guys. You have to get board shorts for men's physique. Any style of board shorts, but it has to be board shorts. They will not accept any other type of like tight shorts or past your knees. You know, They just want board shorts, ones that fit you. And every competitor is going to be doing the same thing. So don't forget that. Board shorts, but get something that makes you, you. Uh, obviously you don't have to get blue. Blue is a very popular color, but blue isn't, if it isn't for you, don't get blue. If you like green or uh, purple or anything really, I've seen many colors out there. Some guy wore rainbow shorts. There's so many shorts out there guys. Find something that works best for you, but that is the shorts. So I hope those couple tips helped you out. I mean, for me, I wish I had those tips when I did my first competition. Now my second competition, I'm gonna be doing my third and fourth soon in October coming up. So I'm super excited for that, but I wish I had those tips when I first started. And I hope these tips help out any of you guys that plan on competing very soon here. And I hope you guys do very well. And let me know if you guys use these tips or any of these tips for anything in general. Um, if you do any other competition outside of men's physique, good luck guys. I know I'll be seeing you guys soon. Let me know in the comments how you guys do and all that great stuff. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. video. But once again, please leave a like below, comment, subscribe, and get aesthetic bra.